ओके हाय एवरीवन सो आई एम रिकॉर्डिंग अ वीडियो आफ्टर मेनी डेज सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू अहेड वी हैड फिनिश्ड विद इंडेक्स नंबर एडिशनल क्वेश्चन बैंक क्वेश्चन जीरो टू फोर्टी सॉरी वन टू फोर्टी दैट मींस सो नाउ विल कंटिन्यू विद फोर्टी वन टू सिक्सटी नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन एज यूजल द सेशन इज गोइंग टू बी इन सिंपल इंग्लिश इफ यू एनी डाउट यू कैन लेट मी नो इन कमेंट्स ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू ट्राई टू सॉल्व एवरी क्वेश्चन इन वन मिनट From the following data with 1990 sorry 1966 as base year, A B C D commodities they have given quantity units and values. Value means total. Okay, so for 100 units it is 500 rupees. Price per unit of commodity A in 1966 is. Now this is a very simple question because for 100 units price is 500. That means per unit price is 5 rupees. That's it. Okay, so not related to index numbers. 42. The index number in wholesale prices is 152 for August 99 compared to August 98. During the year, there is net increase in prices of wholesale commodities to the extent of how much? Again, a simple question. From 100, it became 152. That means there was 52 percent increase. Next, value index is expressed in terms of value index is value of current year divided by value of base year into 100. Value is what? Price into quantity. So V1 will be P1 into Q1 price into quantity of current year upon price into quantity of base year into 100s so option A is the correct answer 44 purchasing power of money is now the answer to this is purchasing power of money is reciprocal of price index number let me explain why this is a very important concept understand let's say uh, for a certain commodity price per kg price per kg was 100 and now let's say it became 125 that means price index number is how much price index number is 125 upon 100 into 100 that is 125 right p1 by p0 now price index number is 125 let's say in base year this is base year this is current year let's say in base year you have rupees 500 in 500 rupees you can buy how many kgs of the product 500 by 100 that is 5 kgs and let's say in current year you also have rupees 500 you still have rupees 500 but now price of the product is 125 per kg that means how much you can buy 500 divided by 125 that means you can only buy 4 kgs now you cannot buy 5 kgs right that means in with same amount of money with same amount of money 500 500 you can now buy uh, 4 kgs instead of 5 kgs that means 20% less 20% less check if you do 4 by 5 it is 80% point eight right that means the money with which you could have bought 5 kgs with that money you can now buy only 4 kgs that means price value of money has decreased by 20% and now it is only 80% okay that is called as purchasing power of money that means with the same money you can now purchase only 80% of the product now if you check price index number is 125 if we ignore that this 100 factor then that means it is 1.25 okay 125% means 1.25 if you take reciprocal of this price index number you should get 80% check 1.25 reciprocal how do we take reciprocal in calculator divided by equal to so divided by equal to you get 0.8 0.8 is 80% right so price index numbers reciprocal is purchasing power of money remember that it can come in numerical question also so a is the correct answer for 44 next 45 price level of a country in a certain year has increased 25% over the base period the index number is okay it has increased 25% means what if it was 100 now it is 125 so option b is the correct answer again a very simple question next is 46 Index number of prices at a place in 1998 is 355 with 1991 as base. This means what? Let's see. There has been on the average a 255 percent increase in prices. That is correct. Because if earlier it was 100, now it is 355. That means there is 255 percent increase in prices. So option A is the correct answer. We cannot say 355 percent increase. What is the increase? Increase means change. Change is only 255. So option A is the correct answer. 47. 
if the price of all commodities in a place have increased 1.25 times in comparison to the base period prices then the index number of prices for the place is now okay understand has increased 1.25 times that means if it was 100 then it has increased by 1.25 that is 125 so new number is 225 so c is the correct answer understand very carefully if the question is like this the prices of all commodities in a place have let me change it with a different color let's say the question says have become 1.25 times then it means if it was 100 it has become 125 in that case this will be the answer but here it is not become it is increased increased 1.25 times means what the change is 1.25 so final answer is 225 next 48 the wholesale price index number or uh, on agriculture commodities in a given region at a given date is 280 percentage increase in prices of agricultural commodity over base year again a very similar question so 100 it became 280 so 180 is the increase next if now the prices of all commodities in a place have decreased by 35% over base period then index number is now so 100 will now become minus 35 that is 65 option C is the correct answer question 50 from the data given below commodity price relative and weight then the suitable index number is now this price index number and weight think logically if weight is given we have to find weighted average that's it what is total of weights 10 right how do we find weighted average summation wx upon summation w if you have any questions related to weighted average mean median you can watch revision lectures which are available on the channel of this entire statistics part okay fine so summation wx so 125 into 5 m plus 67 into 2 m plus 250 into 3 m plus press mrc to get total divided by summation of weights is 10 so divided by 10 that gives us 150.9 option a next Boli's index number is option A, L plus P by 2, 52. From the following data, commodity, base price, current price, simple aggregative, aggregative means total. So simple total, what is simple total? Let's take 35 plus 30 plus 40 plus 107, 212 and 42 plus 35 plus 38 plus 120, 235. So current year upon base year, 235 divided by 212 in percentages it is 110.8 option b is the correct answer for question 52 53 now 53 is not a logical question okay so let's just read they have given a sentence which is i mean the question and answers do not match with each other but let's just see with regard to last price and pastures price index number it is maintained that so they are saying that if prices of all goods change in the same ratio if prices of all goods change in the same ratio, let's say increase by 50%, then two indices will be equal for then the weighting system is irrelevant. And they are saying in this case, two indices will be equal. Or if the quantities of goods change in same ratio, then also they will be equal. For them, for then the two weighting systems are the same relatively. Then above statement satisfy what? Now what they are saying is, if... Uh, there are like two numbers last present pastures if for all commodities that are considered in those numbers we increase prices all prices by 50 percent or if we increase all quantities by 50 percent then l and p both remain equal now after changing they are equal that means before changing also they should be equal right after changing if they are going to be equal that means before changing also they have to be equal that means l is equal to p right now right now l is equal to p only then this will be true okay uh, not a very logical question ignore it 54 quantity index number using fisher's formula satisfies we know uh, fisher's formula satisfies what factor reversal time reversal whether it is quantity index price index does not matter for constructing consumer price index number always last pairs okay last pairs method is uh, suitable for consumer price index number and cost of living index number uh, and then obviously this cost of living index number is always weighted index because it is last pair's formula and last pair's formula is weighted formula. Time reversal test is not satisfied to is not satisfied by Fisher's, Marshall Edgeworth's, last pair's and Pasteur's. Now Fisher's formula satisfies it. Marshall Edgeworth's formula also satisfies it. Why? Because in Marshall Edgeworth weight is Q0 plus Q1. 
so if we reverse time time means what 1 and 0 is interchanged then new words will be q1 plus q0 uh, sorry q0 hmm. so if you put it in the formula and check the uh, values get cancelled so last present past tense obviously we know that that does not satisfy so no need to look further 58 given below are the data on prices of some consumer goods and weights attached to the various items compute price index number for the year 1985 base 1984 they are asking weighted average of price relative index understand the sentence price relative means what p1 by p0 price relative means what this divided by this 0.75 by 0.5 0.75 by 0.6 0.2.4 by 2 and so on but we have to find its weighted average weighted average what so if we say this is x this x will be what 0.75 by 0.5 then 0.75 by 0.6 and so on this is weight we know weighted average is summation wx upon summation w what is sum of weights let's take it first 2 5 4 8 1 20 is sum of weights now we can do it entirely on calculator 0.75 by 0.5 into 2 m plus next 0.75 by 0.6 into 5 m plus next 2.4 by 2 into 4 m plus then 2.1 by 1.8 into 8 m plus 10 by 8 into 1 m plus if we press mrc we get 24.63 recurring so 24.63 recurring by 20 sum of weights answer is 1.2316 that means 123.16 recurring this is the closest answer option b we can take option b next 59 factor reversal test is represented symbolically as factor reversal means what price into quantity index number gives us value index number so option a is probably correct yes this is value index we just saw a last if 1970 index 1970 index with base 1965 is 200 that means this is 100 and 1965 index with base 1960 is 150 so this is 150 with this base then index number of 1970 on base 1960 will be that means we just have to find this missing figure if you have watched earlier lectures you know that all index number questions are ratios nothing else okay So you can just cross multiply. That means what? Cross multiply means what? 200 by 100 is equal to question mark by 150. So it will be what? 200 by 100 into 150. That is going to be 300. So option B is the correct answer for question 60. Okay. So I hope this is clear to all. In next video, we'll take 61 onwards, uh, maybe up to 80. Okay. So for more practice of MCQs, you can join. telegram channel link of which is given in the description i generally put 2 3 mcqs every day okay i have restarted now that uh, result is also near and exam is also coming the exam dates are also announced so i hope everyone is uh, prepared and fine if there is any doubt you can let me know in comments okay bye everyone let's stop